Hey guys, Maria Dillard here, type one mama. Um, my uh, 14 year old, almost 15 year old um, was diagnosed in uh, 2019. And so um, we have taken the low carb approach to helping manage his diabetes. Um, his A1C is around 5.2 to 5.4. And um, he's a happy, healthy, thriving kid, athlete, um, junior high kiddo. Um, so I wanted to put together this video because a lot of people ask us what he does for lunch. And um, so I found a bread recipe that um, initially I was super overwhelmed and I didn't even wanna try it. But um, I, once I did, I realized just how simple it was. So I thought I would actually put together a video for you guys to show you how simple it really is so that you're not overwhelmed. Oh, and here's my husband, just so you don't just see his arm. All right, so he's gonna help me, but I've got all the ingredients out and I will attach um, the link. This is actually from a Happy Healthy Thriving blog spot. Um, this is not associated with my Thrive business. This is totally different, but that Thrive word is, is used a lot, right? And um, basically it means improve quality of life all the way around, right? So um, what I'm gonna make is I'm gonna make two loaves. Now I've already got my pans lined with parchment paper. Just showing you guys that. And um, I'm gonna go ahead and start this. So we've got almond flour. I need two cups of almond flour. I'll show you guys. And I don't have a particular brand of almond flour that I really use. Um, Obviously, this Red Mill is um, easy to find at our local grocery store. I'm trying to use the rest of one bag, and then we're going to open another. All right, so here we go. I need two cups of almond flour. Is that the almond flour right there? Okay. And then we're going to do a cup of walnut meal or walnut flour. I mean, that's basically the same thing. Okay. So this bread is basically like a faux wheat bread, but it is not a wheat bread. Um, it is super gentle on the blood sugars, and um, Gunnar actually loves it. So quarter cup, yeah, if that's a, yeah. quarter cup. Okay. Mm -hmm. So this is ground flax, and you'll notice several of these. I guess I use this red mill. There you go. There's the ground flax, psyllium husk. husk powder. And um, initially upon his diagnosis, I couldn't find any fourth. of this. Um, yeah, fourth cup. I couldn't find any of this. Um, so I bought it all on Amazon, but our local grocery store actually carries the majority of these ingredients now. So, um, am I going down the list? Wait, nope. that was psyllium husk, granular sweetener. So fourth a cup of that. So this is, um, you use a granular sweetener. Um, Swerve has a great sweetener. I li I prefer monk fruit. This is um, Lincanto, I guess that's how you say it. Um, and that does really well. Let's see, four teaspoons of baking powder. So here we go. And, uh -oh. You have salt. Two, I don't have a salt out yet. And guys, I'm telling you, I'm not a chef, I'm not a cook, I'm a mama that needed good options for my kid. So that's kind of what started this whole journey. Three quarters of a teaspoon of salt. Okay. Oh, okay, and there we go. There is all of my dry mixture right there. I guess I should have this further away. Let me see if I can take this further away. Okay, can you guys kind of see what we're doing here? So, I'm gonna just mix the dry mixture. Um, you know, we need to get the sour cream out. Because we're gonna need two cups of that. Two cups of sour cream. All right, so I'm just kind of whisking, mixing the dry mixture right now. So um, it's gonna call for eight eggs, but eight egg yolks, eight egg whites. So we've already separated those and ours are farm fresh eggs. We raise our own chickens. Do I? One or two. Um, oh, let me see. 
so that's just two cups of sour cream. Yeah. And I think it wants us to soften the sour cream. I have to look. Okay, so I've kind of mixed that up. Um, all right, now it wants me to mix the yolk mixture in a medium bowl. Okay, so the yolk mi mixture is a half a cup of olive oil. Do we have that out yet? Um, two cups of sour cream and two egg yolks. Yeah, where's the other one? Sour cream. Sorry. Yeah, I said the same. I said the wrong thing. <laughs> Sorry about that. That'll be funny. What to watch? Did I did I tell him the wrong thing? Okay, sour cream, not cream cheese. How much? Two cups. Be close. Okay, so half a cup of olive oil. I may have some out in the garage fridge too. All right, let's see here. Half a cup of olive oil. Now, can you guys tell that we are not professional um, cooks? Two cups <laughs> Yeah, two cups of sour cream. So, half a cup of olive oil. And then eight of the egg yolks. And it just says mix the yolk mixture in a medium bowl. And we went ahead and um, separated the eggs before we started the video, just to save a little bit of time. But I, I kind of wanted to do as much of this in real time as possible, just because, again, I a friend had shared, another mom had shared this recipe with me. Her daughter has um, uh, enjoyed this with her sandwiches and lunches for, you know, quite a while. And just the minute I saw it, I was like, no, that's too much. Like, I can't do that. That's just too overwhelming. There's no way. And yeah, and um, once I actually did it, I realized how easy it was. So I hope this will kind of encourage some of you guys to go, hey, I can do this. Um, and this recipe that we are uh, making right now, it has, um, it will make two loaves. I think I said that when I started out, but yeah, it'll make two loaves. So. We're just gonna mix this. I didn't get the mixer out. The hand mixer goes out? Oh, no. Or the other one? Yeah. I'll just let you kind of mix a little bit of this for me, and then it'll be fine. I mean, it's pretty smooth already as it is. You guys can kind of see. So this is the yolk mixture of the olive oil, the egg yolks, and the sour cream. All right, so we've got a dry mixture and a um, yolk mixture. And he's gonna mix that up. And then it's telling me to beat the egg whites in a stand mixer until stiff peaks. So I'm gonna start that. Hopefully that won't be too loud on a, um, on a live. But it's um, eight egg whites. turn that on just kind of let it do its thing for a little bit because um, we want to mix it until it's got the stiff peaks and then once it gets the stiff peaks it's um, having us add the egg white powder I had never even heard about that until this entered our life oh did I not get that out yet let me grab that one Okay, so I use this, this egg white powder. Yeah, that may be a little loud, I apologize for that. Okay, so while that is mixing, I'm actually gonna mix the yolk mixture with that dry mixture.
for hanging in here with me. So far, I've only been working on this for 10 minutes, and I'm probably going slower than I normally would just because I'm talking to you guys, right? So, we're gonna mix this. And right now, those egg whites are just being um, mixed in the stand mixer until they have stiff peaks, and then we're gonna add the egg white powder. We're making some faux wheat bread, no wheat. But y'all, it tastes so good. Gunner loves it. Um, with that sour cream, it just gives um, that texture I think he was missing. Um, we've tried zero carb bread and, and I actually buy that. I always have it in the house, but he said, mom, it's just not as good. Um, it's just kind of hard, you know, it's just a different texture. Whereas this texture will actually end up being very, very, very similar um, to a wheat bread. Um, but that sour cream is helping you know, that consistency so well. How are we doing on the stiff peaks? We got it? Okay, so he's working over there, got the stiff peaks, and he's adding in the protein powder. And then once that done, that's done, I'm going to actually start folding that in like a third at a time. So like we're 12 minutes into this so far. I'm telling you the first time I saw this recipe, I was like, no, that's gonna take me hours to do. There's no way. I don't wanna mess with all that. And um, it's really not too bad. So, okay, we're gonna do a third at a time and just kind of fold it in. So I wonder if you can see, um, I do wanna kind of show you guys a little bit um let me just take some of this and so i'm gonna i'm gonna start folding this in so see this is going to just add to that texture this is what makes that texture so nice i mean how would you describe this texture i mean it's just like a good We're just gonna keep like folding this in, you see. Someone else may have a better way to fold, <laughs> but like I said, we are not professional uh, cooks around here. We're just a family that's trying to make it best for a kid. I have a feeling most of you that are watching, that's exactly your goal to you. All right. Just kind of folding and stirring. All right, get the rest. Yeah, so it was telling us to kind of fold in a third at a time. This just adds to the fluffiness. You know, it makes it where um, almond flour and walnut flour are, um, they're just more dense. And so this is um, helping with um, taking away some of that density, I guess. Is that how you would say it? All right, you wanna add your magic onto it? Yeah, do a little stirring. All right, so there you go. 14 minutes we've been on the video. And um, let's see here. Let's go back over here. Um, like I said, I, oh, I heated the oven to 350. It's already ready to go. The bread pans are lined. Um, I've got some parchment paper down there. And now here is the trick with this bread. So I actually bake it for an hour and then I turn the oven off. You wanna do it? Um, I turn the oven off and then um, I do not open the door. So you cannot open the door. You can't open it to see if things are going well. Um, you literally bake it at 350, you put it in, you bake it for an hour, turn the oven off, 
and you do not open the oven door until the next morning. So we always make this at night. What time is it? It's like 6.41 right now. Um, and we're gonna put it in the oven, bake it for an hour, and then we, it will stay in the oven overnight until we get up around six o'clock and we'll come in, take it out, slice it. We can use it for his lunch tomorrow. Um, again, it's making two loaves though. So um, you can easily freeze a loaf. That's typically what I do. I'll bake two, um, we'll freeze a loaf, and then we'll have that loaf for lunches. Um, then obviously just pull out um, the frozen one once we're ready. So there you go, y'all. Like that's, that's basically the gist of it. Um, it is called rustic faux wheat bread. I'll attach this um, blog post. I'm, I'm not associated with this blogger or um, anyone with this. I'm, like I said, I'm just a mom that found a good recipe and um, it's made a huge difference for my kid. And so I want to share it with all of you. So thanks a bunch. You want to tell them bye? Bye guys. <laughs>